So, uh, luck in the game uh, does, on a broad scale, work basically how it says it does in game, right? It gives you access to rare artifacts and spells, but it also makes enemies more difficult. Here's, as far as I know, everything luck affects in the game. So, your starting card rarity with no luck, you've got a 67% chance, about two-thirds of them are the basic commons, most of the rest are the blues, then you have a small chance at purples and golds, and uh, you have no chance at the rainbows at all. You need uh, 16 luck before you have any chance of a rainbow at all. Um, luck caps at 100, uh, generally speaking. So, uh, at 100 luck, you get almost no commons now. You get a giant pile of blues and purples, and, uh, you get a decent chunk of legends and still a pretty small number of rainbows, but, uh, the calamity spells are definitely, definitely very rare. Uh, additionally, uh, sometimes cards that are on offer will start with upgrades, depending on your luck. So starting at uh, 26 luck, they'll have a chance for one upgrade, and at 41 luck, they'll have a chance for two upgrades. So you're guaranteed to uh, have an upgrade come with a card at uh, 60 luck, and you're guaranteed to have two upgrades come with a card at 75 luck. Uh, as far as the downsides go, uh, enemies level up for every 10 luck you have. So at uh, 10 luck, they're level 2, 20, they're level 3, and, level, and 30 luck, they're level 4. And that's as high of a level as they get. Um, enemy levels basically determines the kind of, uh, like, attack patterns they throw at you. So the attack patterns will be a little bit harder, they'll have a little more hit points, their movement might be a little more tricky, things like that. Uh, additionally, the enemy group type can get harder, uh, starting at 26 luck up to about a 75% chance at 100 luck. Uh, so what this means is the uh, type of group you're fighting will be of a harder tier. Uh, so if you notice, when you start a fresh world, you're generally fighting like just one enemy by themselves. That's because of the, uh, the enemy group type. Uh, that naturally goes up as you progress through zones in a world, but uh, this can... Uh, make it skip up uh, another level as well if you have enough luck. Uh, you can also find extra hazards on a level. Uh, there's a chance for those to spawn starting at 11 luck, and that caps at uh, 51 luck. And um, when uh, the Hell Pass, the Ascension level uh, 2, talks about uh, extra hazards, that uh, works with this value here. So, uh, it happens at lower luck and it caps at lower luck and has a higher cap. So that's the difference between the, uh, Hell Pass hazards and the, uh, regular hazards. I don't 100% know what, uh, the percentage actually, uh, means in practice. I think it means per tile on the enemy side that is not already filled with another monster or entity, then it has this much chance to spawn a hazard there in, in addition. So something like a self-defense turret, or one of those uh, pots that when you destroy one of those jerk snakes comes out, one of uh, those things are the, uh, the hazard. Two other uh, minor good things that can happen from uh, high enough luck is that uh, when the Sarah piles, the piles of money, the, like little crystals in the back that you destroy and money pops out, you can get uh, extra money piles if you have uh, enough luck, starting at 41, capping at uh, 71. Um, you can also get an additional treasure chest, uh, on treasure chest events, you have a chance for that starting at 51, capping at 101. That's, as far as I know, the only thing that cares about having 101 luck. Everything else only cares about having up to 100 luck. Just a, one little oddity there. Uh, some additional places that uh, luck comes from. Um, this is all uh, as of uh, patch 1.3. So uh, any number of things could change in the future because this game is rapidly patched, but something that was added in the last patch is that if you have unassigned brand focuses, so instead of setting like, oh, I'm going to focus on anima or phalanx, if you have that set to none, that uh, gives you an additional luck for each none focus you have. But this luck is different than all other forms of luck uh, in that it does not affect the enemy level ups, and it doesn't affect the chance for enemies to have additional artifacts here. 
So the uh, unassigned bonus luck you get for not having uh, brand focuses is almost entirely helpful. Like it still applies to hazards and harder enemy groups, but uh, the two most common sources of things being, becoming harder, it doesn't affect those. So you don't need to really worry about assigning those focuses to make the game easier or whatever. And of course, one or two luck usually isn't a big deal anyway. If you kill the bunny at a campfire, you gain uh, one luck from that. Uh, when you are fighting a mini-boss, the uh, quality of the artifact is generated as if you have five more luck than you do. Um, and when you're fighting a boss, uh, the artifact and spell you get are generated as if you have 15 more luck than you actually do. Additionally, they have a hard uh, minimum that uh, it's required to be epic rarity for the spell and uh, blue rarity um, for the artifact. Um, and that, uh, those are also recent changes uh, that were implemented in 1.3, I believe, possibly 1.2. Uh, so, uh, as we kind of touched on briefly there, if you have 26 or more luck, enemies have a chance of having an artifact. 36 or more, they have a chance of having two artifacts. Uh, these artifacts are exactly the same things that are given by the uh, Hell Pass uh, 1 and Hell Pass 6 um, modifiers. Um, so those ascension levels give them artifacts as well. Uh, these artifacts are fairly minor effects. Uh, they tend to be little things like every time the player cast a spell, gain a couple shield, or every time the player shuffles, gain a spell power. Things like that. Just little bonuses that make the enemies gradually stronger over time in a somewhat reactionary way. So, they aren't like massive, but they're just one other way that the enemies get uh, stronger as you go on here. Um, so, importantly, luck has no effect on the tier of boss you're fighting. So the bosses will go up in tier just as you progress through worlds. Having more luck does not make the bosses harder, other than the fact that it can give them artifacts here, which are, as I said, a fairly minor thing, but still could be a relevant buff to a boss if they get a bunch of spell power over the course of a fight. Um, as for two other things that are related to luck, but uh, not directly. So the Dark Path doesn't uh, directly affect your luck, but what it does is it just treats it as if the enemy level is one higher than it normally would be. So if you'd be fighting level 2 enemies, you're fighting level 3 if you take the Dark Path. Uh, the Dark Path is when there's one of the uh, like red fights at the beginning of a world, and you take that, and uh, then it makes the shopkeeper deal in blood instead of money, and it makes the treasure chests uh, attack you. Um, but uh, the only other thing it does is change the background and make the enemies one level uh, higher. Uh, one other thing I'll note as far as the higher enemy levels go, um, it's not all bad if enemies are higher level as well, so that's another bit of complexity in luck, like you think, oh man, uh, having high luck's bad because you uh, have the higher enemy levels. It does make them harder, but it also means you get more money and more experience, which might be more free uh, artifacts or more stuff you can buy at shops, which might offset the difficulty from the uh, stronger enemies, so it's, uh, it's kind of hard to say, it's complicated, right? Um, really the, uh, the benefit to Dark Path is if you want to, uh, use blood to buy at shops. That's the main benefit for a Dark Path, I would say. Or, like I said, if you are feeling strong and you want harder enemies, you get, uh, more money and experience from them. Uh, one other thing, if, uh, you're wondering how else enemies get stronger, every, uh, world you go through, enemies gain, uh, 12.5% additional hit points. So uh, after uh, you've completed two worlds in that third world, they'll have 25% more health. Uh, that's in addition to health they might gain from uh, the enemy level up. So like some enemies might start at 200 health, they might be level two uh, and be at 250 health, and then they also get like 25% on top of that if you're in a uh, world three or whatever. So uh, that is everything luck does in the game as far as I can tell as of uh, this current patch of uh, 1.3, uh, 1.3.5 I want to call it because it's actually been unofficially updated several times uh, since the last release, but uh, 
yeah, so hopefully that uh, makes it uh, less confusing uh, as far as what luck actually does that uh, isn't explained uh, super well in game. Uh, one final oddity is that I found out that you're only supposed to gain point, uh, eight luck every uh, zone you go through, every level you uh, beat, but uh, it just rounds up that you gain one luck every level you beat. But if you save and reload your game, it'll recalculate that based on the uh, 0.8 figure and only round at the end, so you'll actually have less luck if you uh, save and reload the game. I did report this, so uh, it'll hopefully be something that is uh, fixed soon, but uh, yeah, hopefully that's a nice expertise uh, on luck and covers how that works in game for everybody.